What's up everybody, it's Bobby Scallywag here, here to show you how to get the heaviest tone ever, or at least the heaviest that I've come up with. 10 of my own riffs, analyzing why they are heavy. A lot of them are on my new album, Crowded Rooms, where I tried to make the heaviest guitar sounds ever, uh, mixed with sparkly Midwest emo, and I sing on it. It comes out September 26th, and anyone who's a patron for September will get their name printed on the vinyl. Some riffs are from there. The other ones were voted on um, on Instagram. Let's just get right to the first one, which is just get as low as possible. <laughs> I kind of hate that that's the first one, but there is a lot of truth to getting a certain type of heavy guitar sound, like a modern heavy guitar sound. A lot of that is tuning the guitar down, and I love down-tuned guitars so much to where I really enjoy playing these things. This is a nine string. So this goes from your regular E standard, seven string, F sharp, eight, and all the way down to C sharp. It's not just taking your six string stuff and, and bringing it down, especially when you're getting this low, you really have to play the instrument a lot differently. And you're in full on bass territory. So that led me to write what's probably my heaviest riff ever. This is Envy. Super, super low tunings like this, my thought is like, I want to like anchor it down with like introducing the riff beforehand in a higher octave where it's more legible and then bringing it down. Here, I'm taking that same idea by using octaves. So instead of just staying on the low note, which is pretty cool, but kind of get muddy in a full mix of things. I'm bringing in the higher octaves to make it a bit more legible. The harmonics on a low string like this are really, really gnarly. You just don't want to do the... It just gets really, really muddy, just doing that regular six string stuff. Number two, tone. The obvious way there is just a ton of distortion, simply taking the signal coming out of the guitars and basically just destroying it. And with the nine string, we need to be a little extra careful and do kind of unique things. This leads us to a song on my new album called What's Wrong With Me. When I write, because I'm playing so soft at home, I get a lot of the pick attack. Once I take that tone and bring it into the song, I'm like, where's the, where's the pick attack? So we took the DI, bring it up two octaves, and then bring that back in. So could we hear just that? <laughs> yeah. To kind of emulate like what I'm hearing in the room. What's kind of fun about it is it, it brings in more high sonic information to that track. And then when it all is together, we got a little bit more pick noise. And I just think that's a wrap. <laughs> what are you doing for distortion too, by the way? Through neural DSP and yeah. something called the Amplified Instrument Processor. Lower gain, so you yeah. hear the, we discovered that, yeah, was yeah. you think it would be turn it up, turn it up, turn it up. But if you lower the gain, you actually hear the definition. Uh -huh. And then you just overdrive that so you can hear the tone, but you also get the articulation. Then your high pick thing that you're talking about, that brings in more articulation, yeah. so you don't lose the actual attack. As far as EQ, Rob, if you're doing this super low tune stuff. Just here. pushing a little bit of low mids and some high mids, really. So you get a little bit of the air, you get a little bit of the beef. It doesn't step on the bass guitar or the yeah. fact that you're going down lower than bass guitar. How it mixes with the bass is really important as well. Like the bass is this like very compressed, clear note and it gives you this like sonic definition and then this gets you like the snarl. At that frequency you can't tell if it's bass or guitar so it becomes mm -hmm. this wall of yeah low goodness. Yeah. <laughs> you got a heavy guitar on the left, a heavy guitar on the right, and bass right down the middle and that just creates one big guitar. On to number three, what notes are you using? <laughs> Took us all the way to three to get it. Grab my seven string here. It's funny that we got to number three before we're talking about what notes you play. But in metal, if you're playing low enough, they kind of all work. <laughs> you're just kind of playing percussion. When I'm playing heavy music, I, go, I kind of go to the same few notes. I, I learned... I kind of just think about it as like the miserloo notes. And so on. I love harmonic minor. The song Psychosis just takes that scale and just rips through it.
<laughs> this is so awesome. The notes that I'm using here, if I'm gonna bring it to just one string, are zero, first fret, fourth, fifth, seven, eight, ten, and then so on. Another way to do it, bring it up an octave. And then five, seven, eight, five, seven, eight, six, seven. And then that starts it over. There's a few bits of that scale that when I'm writing heavy stuff that I really concentrate on. One is this area right here. Five, seven, eight, four area. Like, oh, right? That little shape I use a lot. It's not something you see in like the regular major scale. Like you have these five frets that all work except for the middle one. Just combination of notes is so heavy. There's this other shape within this harmonic minor. <laughs> We've got these two half step bits with one fret in between, and then you have this two half step bits with two frets in between. I use those shapes a lot. It's just that, so. Psychosis is taking these notes and going very fast. Now let's go very slow. <laughs> it's Halloween by 1st of October. Yeah! <laughs> I think It's Halloween is my heaviest breakdown I've ever been a part of. And the people on Instagram also thought so. And this song is also based around those super simple notes that we learned earlier. Five, seven, eight, four type of move. It's just in that main riff. For this last breakdown, I'm just doing a tritone. Tritone and chugs. I'm in a drop tune seven string. So to get the tritone, it's one and then and that's just a classic heavy sound. The rhythm is important too. Like to get a good breakdown, you want the rhythm to like kind of throw you off a little bit. And you can get it from if you have a power chord. If you have a power chord like that, take your, your higher string and move it down one. It's that harmony. We made it for 1st of October, which is Andrew and I making an album in a day every 1st of October. I love this song. And it's in a horror movie. Yeah, it buddy. Is a horror, What horror movie is it in? Huh? Season? Yeah, yeah. Check it out. Oh, it's not out yet. It's not out yet. Jake made a movie and I die in it. Yes, sir. <laughs> and it's Halloween is in it. Yeah. I'm brutally Yeah. Bad. Oh, man. Honorable mention to metal in very inappropriate places. That... <laughs> Which is also just a tritone and some chugs, but also very, very heavy. Now let's go fast to my song Bud. I'll get my six string. I'm going to use a six string guitar in this video. It's wild. Holy sh that's fast. Yeah, it's a really <laughs> fast riff. A lot of thrash guitar, this song is like very like Slayer influenced. All notes work, you know? That type of thing. So Bud is kind of getting unhinged for this one. Let's just get as unhinged as possible. I have a seven string with a Floyd Rose on it. Yeah. I came up with this riff. Can I get the drums? Oh, I love it. I think it's so heavy. Is it heavy or is it just weird? It's heavy. It's weird. It's weird and heavy. Okay. <laughs> Could we hear it when it first comes into the song? I love it. 
<laughs> trying to keep it together, but everything is just crumbling. Like it does sound like I, that. It yeah. Does. The whole album has this sense of like really, really heavy stuff and just needing to deal with it, kind of. So you have these like really, really heavy guitars, and then me trying to write songs around them. What started as like a, a novel kind of experiment turned into just more genuine expression, and this is one of the wilder ones. And while we have the seven string with the Floyd out, we can go to just whammy your heart out. been talking a lot about this harmonic minor angry sound while we have the seven string and still doing some fun unhinged whammy stuff let's bring in some pretty chords <laughs> this was first introduced where we got the world record for the largest pedal board what yeah <laughs> I remember yeah, you were remember testing from? the boards. Yeah, 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 so it's finally made it somewhere. It's taking a nice, more like major chord, just chugging it, and then also just like hitting the Floyd Rose. I think it's a pretty cool riff. So the next way that you could be heavy is be emotionally heavy, like impossibly off the it's new album. So rocky. Oh God, it's so sad. Anyway, another maybe emotionally heavy song is Anchor. When I asked on Instagram what my heaviest riffs were, I got a lot of Anchor. This is a tune I wrote when I first got an eight string and it's what made me fall in love with extended range guitars. It's also why there's Anchors on my signature models. But yeah, I could see Anchor being emotionally heavy. Anchors are heavy. Anchors are, <laughs> anchors are heavy. <laughs> Maybe that was the joke. <laughs> Either way, this is one of my personal favorite songs that I want to play. Get a little lighter. So this one takes the H string, puts it in an open tuning. I think with the low extended range, I think Anchor is very emotionally heavy. And maybe what we've learned here is that heaviness doesn't come from just down tuning or a ton of distortion, but it comes from here. Nah! Give me 45 distortion pedals. Yeah, anyway, thanks so much for watching. Crowded Rooms is coming out September 26th, and anyone who is a patron for the month of September will get their name printed on the vinyl. On Patreon. On Patreon. I really appreciate everyone on the Patreon page, and very excited for the album to come out. <laughs> And that ends the video. I was giving you 45 distortion pounds. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs>